Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an audio precision quick tip. In this quick tip, we'll look at the key features available in the APX workspace in sequence mode. By default, APX launches into sequence mode. If you happen to be in bench mode, simply select sequence mode from this menu to switch. Let's start with the navigator. The navigator holds a list of measurements selected for a project. You can add or delete measurements in the navigator and expand a measurement node to view the measurement results. You can also select measurements to run in an automated sequence. When working like this, the navigator doubles as a sequencer. Just check the measurements you want to automate and click play. In the center of the workspace are the signal path setup menus. Here, you choose the input and output connections for the analyzer, set references, adjust clocks and triggers, and otherwise configure signal path settings. Below the navigator is the monitors slash meters panel. Here, you'll find signal monitors, meters, and other handy controls that you can access at any time, even when using other measurements. When you choose a measurement in the navigator, the center panel displays the controls for that measurement. You can always move back and forth between the signal path setup displays and the measurement control displays by clicking the back pointer. When running a measurement, the current result is displayed to the right of the measurement controls in the large results panel. The selector film strip display is an alternative way to choose or edit measurement results. Look for other quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.